Hey there guys and welcome back to Planet Cryos. So back just a little bit ago when I built my She-Hulk build, I ran into a problem where the RGB on the RAM was only on its default setting and I couldn't control uh, the lighting to change to different modes. So I figured out what it was and I want to share what I found with you guys. So stick around. Alright, so what I found is actually within the BIOS. There's a BIOS setting within ASUS's motherboards, at least, and maybe with the other ones. It's called SPD. It is Serial Presence Detect Chip. And that, what it does is there's a little module within the RAM that communicates with the BIOS and tells it uh, its characteristics and it tells its timings that's available within that. So, you have to turn this in true or false. It's either like an on or an off type thing. And also, I don't believe, but we're going to find out here, I don't believe you can have your XMP profile enabled with that off. So if you want lighting on your RAM, I think you may have to turn that off. But we're going to find out. Um, I did do an update on the BIOS, and that affected it. So I have to change it back, and I thought I'd bring it along for the ride so I can get the colors I want back on my RAM because right now it's just standard uh, I think default colors which is white and I and it's not that it looks bad but I just want to be able to change it so uh, if you stick around uh, we're going to uh, go right over here to the BIOS and I'm going to show you where that is at least in the modern ASUS BIOS platform so a quick thing to get into your BIOS at least on the ASUS motherboards go ahead and restart your computer and hit the delete key repeatedly as it's restarting and eventually it'll come up into the BIOS. There are, there are other options to get into the BIOS, but this is one way. All right, as we come over here to the BIOS, I just wanna show you that the XMP profile is enabled. And we're gonna come here to the advanced mode and then we're going to come up here because sometimes it's kind of hard to find so you can usually find a search box and we can just type in here uh, spd hit okay and we got right here spd right disabled true we want to enable it it's very confusing they should have just had it like spd right and then true or false but if it says disabled over here and it's true that means it's disabled so what we have to do is Tell it to go to false, and then we can, let's see, we're on false now, so we can exit out of there. We can go ahead and exit out of the whole thing by pushing F10 or the exit, and then save changes and reset. And we're going from SPD right disabled from true to false. And that's what we want. You can see over here that the RAM is white. It might be kind of hard to tell, but the RAM is all white. Everything else is a little white right now except for those, the uh, Neon Lee uh, things that are going back and forth. I can't remember the name of them. Um, but what we're looking for here is I'm going to boot into Windows and see what happens to the RAM. So right now we're starting to change colors. Our power supply just changed to a green down there. Our motherboard changed to green. Our fans should and light around the perimeter should change to green. Just as soon as the software, the IQ4 software, and there we go. Our RAM is now working like it should. You can see it going in green and white. I do have it set to green and white, so it's kind of going through the mixture. So that is all set. All right, we're back in the BIOS here, and what we want to do is just make sure our XMP is still enabled. So you are able to change it without 
affecting that. All right, guys, so that's it. I had a feeling that's all I had to do because I updated the BIOS earlier and it created a problem for the RAM uh, being able to change colors or control it through the IQ software. Now, this all pertain uh, just directly for me around the Corsair RAM. It may affect other RAM with RGB as well because the ASUS motherboard has that in there. So if there's a communication issue, it probably will affect that too. But now I have showed you and you know exactly what to do to uh, make a true or false and just make sure you change that little bit. And now you can control your RGB RAM. So uh, thanks for sticking around uh, to the end. And if you enjoyed this content, give me a thumbs up. If you wish to leave a comment down below, go ahead and do so. I normally respond. Um, other than that, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified or notifications of any new content that I do post. And also share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, guys, take care.